Okay, so what we have here is a clear stream, and this is the old style. And you see that white hose there coming out there, and it slides down that other kind of hose. It's, that's kind of a guide hose. And the diffuser is on the end of it. Now, sometimes this hose here is way back in there, and you gotta kinda reach up underneath there. So what you do is you grab this thing, and you just start pulling on it. And you just keep pulling and pulling. And it might get hung up on the hose where it's coming in. You're going to wear more gloves. There it is. And see how that is barely blowing any air? I mean, it's really plugged up. So, um, that's one of the downfalls of the clear streams. So we're just going to replace it with a new diffuser like you do the other one. So you just unscrew this diffuser here. And this will make your, um, actually clog up your, it'll put a lot of back pressure on your pump, on your air pump. And on your diaphragm pumps, it's not good for it. it it'll do a lot of uh, damage to them. So you want to... Uh, and you stick this in there. See if it's blowing air. There, it's blowing good air. So that's what gives your tank oxygen. You don't want to blow it in that chamber, so that's what this is for. And then all you do is just stick it back in there. It's important that you grab it like I did, because sometimes um, they're not a hose like this, they're a high pressure hose. And this fitting's not here. It's a brass fitting, and it's old, and you can damage it. So, um, once it gets in there, it's pretty much good now. And uh, he just replaced his compressors. There's just one person that lives here. The tank um, is not too healthy looking um, due to the fact that the air compressor, he was gone for quite a while, and he just fixed it. So, but there's one person living here. And uh, there we go. Okay, so that's how you replace it. That's all you gotta do. So what you wanna do when you open your clear stream, if it has this, that's where your diffuser is. It's on the end of that. Grab it here and pull up. It's pretty easy to come out. Just uh, turn it, uh, take it off there. This is old and bad. Um, one thing you can do is drill very small, tiny, tiny holes right here. So you don't have to continually replace these. It's not NSF approved, but um, we found that it works very well and it helps um, give the system a little more air so that works uh, pretty good doing that but this one was pretty much done for anyways that's pretty much it uh, hope you guys understand how that works now if you have any questions uh, comment below and uh, wholesale septic supply we got these for um, I think they're $14 it might be $17 but uh, give us a call we can help you out with them all right have a good day.